welcome back to another episode of Ruthless TV, where I break down Tyler Perry's hit cable series, Ruthless, scene by scene. Now, tonight I want to discuss Dale. You guys remember Dale from the fresh food section in Virginia on the Rakadushi compound? Well, near the Rakadushi compound. Now, most of us know that Dale has moved to Washington and he's started a new job in the same town where Ruth was from. Now, on a recent episode of The Oval, Dale is seen on his way to Fabian's and Fabian's is a local nightclub and he's going there to hang out. And on his way to the club, he runs into Kyle. Now, Kyle is a Secret Service agent at the White House who is also gay, but he's undercover with his lifestyle because of, well, okay, I'm, I won't get into that because that's a whole other video. But he runs into Kyle, and now Kyle is a straight killer, for real, for real, like killer, killer. <laughs> now, so I'm just going to call him Killer, killer Kyle. <laughs> that's what I'll call him. But anyway... They run into each other and Kyle convinces him to come upstairs to his place to have a drink or two. And now this is where the trouble begins. This is where we have a serious problem because Kyle tends to end up in a lot of combative situations. And he's even <laughs> actually in a situation right now um, while Dale is at his place. And I just feel that Dale has gotten caught up with the wrong person, period. And I say this because on the last episode of The Oval, Sam, who is the godfather to Callie's father, came into the pharmacy um, to question Dale. Well, I don't know if he questioned him, but he wanted to talk to him. And when he entered the pharmacy, they actually cut the cameras to um, Sharon and Kareem. So we didn't really get the details of what he was talking to him about. We don't know how much information Dale provided to him, um, which, you know, this storyline to me is moving a bit slow. And I mentioned this in another video because I feel that with all of the things that are going on at the compound, that they will be moving a lot quicker. So now that Dale has gotten caught up with Kyle, who's a real killer, you know, I just hope that he doesn't get hurt dealing with Kyle or get killed dealing with Kyle before, before Sam has enough information to make some moves to try to go get Callie from the compound because <laughs> this is exactly what I see happening because there is so much going on there, but no one is ever able to successfully, you know, go and get any real information or enough to bring the compound down. I mean, look at Andrew, even Andrew is in there caught up. So it's just a big challenge. And now I can definitely see another challenge happening here with Dale because he is caught up with the wrong person <laughs> on the oval. Um, this guy, Kyle, is no joke. He's not to be played with. And he's, you know, even though the conversation is very friendly, even though it's, you know, pretty innocent right now, but even while Dale is visiting him, uh, you know, up there having a drink with him, he's gotten into an altercation right there in the bathroom. And I think that Dale uh, went outside to have a cigarette or something, so he doesn't even know what's going on. I just hope that Barry has enough information to move forward um, with the investigation or the shakedown of the compound because I can just see Dale <laughs> getting in a lot of trouble really fast um, with and when he's um, dealing with Killer Kyle. So I just hope that all goes well and that he has enough. And uh, let me know in the comments what you think. You know, Dale has gotten himself <laughs> into some trouble and uh, he seems quite innocent in all of this, but he's just getting caught up with the wrong people really fast and um, it's not going to end in a good way for him, I don't think. So let me know, let me know what you think in the comments. And um, if you like the video, uh, give it a like, subscribe to the channel, share the video if you care, and I'll see you on the next one.